Well, hi kids. This is Larry Doherty training up in Willow, Alaska. I'm a rookie training for the Iditarod this year. And today we're going to go over some commands for driving a sled dog team. So here is my team running a small team today of just eight dogs. I'm doing that. Oftentimes we run much larger teams of 16 dogs or, or even more. But the conditions, you can see there's not really a lot of snow and it's kind of icy. So it's not very safe to run with a very large team. So the first command is whoa. You can see that makes the dogs stop. And now I'll give them a command to get them ready. Ready? Hike! So hike obviously means go. Let me introduce you to the team here I've got running today. So up in front, I have two new leaders that I'm training. On the right is Lily. On the left is Friday. And then behind them in what we call the swing position, I have two more experienced dogs. On the left there is Toby. And then just to the right of him, the one that kind of looks like a cow, his name is Healy. Uh, behind them, we have uh, Sprocket and Turbo. And then in the back, in what we call the wheel position, on the left here is Whisper. And on the right, uh, we have uh, <laughs> Switch. Excuse me, Switch. So Switch is actually in heat. And it's very common to run dogs that are in heat in the wheel position. Uh, the scent can drive the male dogs crazy, so we put them back towards the back of the team so that uh, that does not happen. So one important thing to know about driving a sled dog team is regulating their speed. We just came out of the dog lot and are planning to go 50 miles today. That entire 50 miles, I'm gonna have my feet on this drag mat, keeping these dogs at a, at a slow speed. If I let them run, they will run as fast as they can, probably this entire run. But what would happen is it makes them much more likely to get injuries. Uh, and you also just can't run a thousand mile race that way. So one of the ways to know if you are running too fast is if your dogs are loping. Uh, that's a gait that I'll show you right now. So I'm gonna take my foot off the drag, let them run as fast as they want. You'll see they start to speed up. See what happened to my lead dogs up there? It's kind of subtle, but now they're in just this galloping all out gait. The front feet and the back feet kind of move together. Watch as I slow down to a trot. It's a, it's a much more even pace. It's healthier for them to run that way. And it also tells me that I'm going the right speed. So even without knowing, whoa, even without knowing how fast I'm going, basically I, I want to make sure the dogs are all in a trot. So the three gates or ways of running to be aware of are trotting, loping, and pacing. It's kind of hard to demonstrate from the back of the sled, uh, but I showed you loping versus trotting. If you go to YouTube and, and look at some videos of horses running, it's very easy to see the difference. If you just type in pacing or trotting or loping with horses, uh, there's great videos online to demonstrate that. But for sled dogs, uh, for the vast majority, we want them to be trotting uh, through most or if not all of a thousand mile race. There are some dogs that because they're so small and running with larger dogs, that for them it's normal to run in a, in a lope. But most dogs, uh, it's healthier and better uh, if, they are, if they're trotting. All right, so our first turn is coming up. It's going to be a turn to the left. Who remembers how to say left? Go ahead and say it if you remember. All right, here we go. Ready? Ha! All right. Ha! All right. I said ha twice because there was another trail option for them to go right again. So I had to use that command two times. Uh, on our team, every team does it a little bit differently. We usually give the command, and then after we do that, we say, all right, to let them know uh, just a positive affirmation that they indeed went the right way. So beautiful, beautiful conditions today. Other than the trail, not a lot of snow, but nice weather, uh, good temperatures for running the dock. All right, so another fork in the road coming up here. Again, it's to the left. Remember which way is left? Let's see, it's right here. Ha! Instead of taking that trail, we went off here to the left. All right, 
more turning command. You remember how to say right? G. All right. All right, so here's a fork in the trail. The dogs can either go left or right. Which way will they go? Well, I want them to go right. So do you remember the command for right? Let's get them to go first. Ready? Fight. G. All right. Good. You didn't go that way. G. All right. So now we know all of the commands for driving a, a dog team. Ready and hike to go. Ha is left. G is right. And whoa, it stopped. Good dogs. This is Larry Doherty, rookie musher for Iditarod 2016, signing off from Alaska. Thanks, guys.